Hey, so my name is Rocket Sapir, and welcome to Teleglitch Die More Edition Part 3, I believe. Yeah, I believe this is Part 3. Anyway, last episode, we got completely destroyed once again, and we didn't even get past Level 3, which is, it seems to be my, my capping point, you know? So, this, let's see how far we can get this time. Um, I have no weapons other than a knife, but I've got a pair of power legs. Oh, okay, so it's power legs run again, which is, I can't really complain too much about that, because I, I didn't read this before, okay, so... Um, I got some power legs, when the mayhem started, I realized I might have to run at some point, so I put them on, and indeed, they saved my life. They did the job far better than various self-defense guns that my colleagues had. I also managed to grab this box of chocolates on my way here. I guess it, guess it was pure instinct. Indeed, I would definitely grab chocolates if I was in the middle of, like, an otherworldly apocalyptic event. So, I, I, yeah, that would be, like, the first thing I grab, and the second thing would be, like, a. Uh, I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe my guitar, maybe I can, you know, calm some zombies down with my horrible taste of music. Oh, okay, so let's begin. So, the way I'm going to do this, because I realized that one of my main problems is that I just run into rooms, and I am really fast, the way I do things, and I'm going to just try to use my knife as much as possible, you know, here we go, knife kung fu. Woo! Yeah! Yeah. So, my knife as much as possible, and make sure not to waste all the things I have, or like the RDX 250, I realize I've been using it a lot on like, you know, the little guys, when I should just be using it in like huge swarms and stuff, so. And uh, in terms of experimentation, if we get a new gun, I'll, I'll definitely try it out, but other than that, I'm going to try to conserve as many bullets as possible, because I am, I gotta get past level 3, guys, at least in this episode, you know, episode 3, level 3, I gotta overcome it for episode 4, you know, if, Hopefully I'm still alive by then, but I probably will, like in real life. And not, not in the game though. Not, probably not in the game, but definitely in real life. So let's see. Here we go. Here we... Yeah, okay. This guy's level 1 is just... It's pretty much a walk in the park, pretty much. I, I don't have to worry much, a lot about this level. Um, I'm gonna really clip RDX 250. So therefore, this should be where I focus on just building myself up, you know? Building my armory, per se. My, uh... Armory of Doom, my Game of Thrones, um, the throne armor thing. Yeah, I, I, I've been watching Game of Thrones, guys. It's pretty sick. If you guys haven't seen it, like I haven't, I, I just started because I haven't. I've been living on the rock for the longest time. And, you know, some pouncer was like, "Dude, you never watch Game of Thrones?" And I was like, "Nah, bro. What is that?" And he's like, <gasps> "And so he gave me a link and actually like to HBO Go because." That's how we do things, the legal way. And uh, and so yeah, man, it's, it's, it's been pretty great, guys. So if you guys haven't seen it, just find a way to get it, you know? They have it on target and, you know, just do things legally because legally is the only way to do things. Because if not, the FBI bursts into your house and they're like, are you Rocket's peer slash um, the Kevin Bacon impersonator? And I'll be like, well, sir, yes, I am. Okay, so here we are. We are in the teleporter room. Which is really convenient, actually. Um, uh, it's just so far away to go back. But I did say, I think it was the first run when I said that the runs after like the first run were going to be serious. So if they're going to be serious, I might as well collect everything before I go. I mean, besides, I have my power leg, so I can like moonwalk all the way there. Huh. Actually, you can moonwalk. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's... You know, because just the fact that you can't moonwalk gives this game like a 0 out of 10. Um, yeah, just kidding. It's, it's more like a 2 out of 10. Walking is pretty important. What do we have here? Ooh, big cachet. Man, I'm clip RDX 250. I got two of those. I can make a 500 or a nail bomb. I'll make a nail bomb. Nail bomb's pretty useful. Um, AG01. Yeah, shotgun. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I have my basic needs, you know. Everything's being met. Gotta go up to the side and up again. Yeah, so guys, so I mean, maybe two days a day, you know? I believe it. I want to believe it. Uh, it's probably will. Probably will. Probably. You know what? You know what? I'm too negative. I'm too negative sometimes. I gotta. I gotta go and be like, yo, we're gonna do this today. Because if we don't do it today, you know. But there's always tomorrow. But. I, I, I really like to see what's after level 3, and which is funny because it's probably not that fun, you know, it's probably just very hard, <laughs> so. I've been to level 4 before, like I said, um, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, level 4 is, is, 
like we'll deal with it once we get there we'll definitely deal with it once we get there because you guys are gonna see the terrible things that happen in level four um this is some of the spirit of kevin bacon right here that's one that's one <laughs> that's two okay okay i got this i got that okay you know what yeah you guys you guys are gonna get knifed i can moonwalk for that when i'm knifing okay never mind games games back out of the sand um, I don't know, you know what, I, I don't really know who published this game, like, well, actually I do know who published it, but I don't really know who made it, I know that Paradox published this game, which is pretty cool, because they, you know, make games like, um, oh wow, I didn't pop that, I should have popped that, huh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna go try that again, um, they make games like, you know, Crusader Kings, and one of my other favorites, which is Magicka, because I freaking love Magicka, and I think I might do a Magicka Let's Play, but like a co-op Magicka Let's Play with some Pouncer, because he's a cool guy, you know, if you guys haven't seen his channel, you know, he's been doing this a lot longer than me, by like months, so, he's, uh, you know, one of my closest, most intimate friends, yeah, just kidding, um, well, you can ask him, he'll probably tell you that, you know, we, we have been, uh, we have been married for, you know, 15 years, and we have two African boy that we, African boys that we, you know, we adopted, and, um, that is all I like. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna use my shotgun here, it's, there's too many of them, way too many of them. Suck it, suck it, and now you guys, ow, ow, yeah, I can't be losing that myself in this room, it's a, it's a pretty simple room. Here we go. So I saw a let's play where a guy beats the whole game in two hours. And I was like, like, it's not a let's play. I think his name is, oh, Blur. I'm pretty sure his name is Blur something. And in my mind, I'm like, dude, like, I didn't see it. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna like spoil what comes after like during like the later levels. But man, dude, like, damn, you know what? You are, you are you're just, you are, you are Kevin Bacon. You are just Kevin Bacon, dude. Like, damn. That man, that man has it going on. You know, so shout out to him. You know, if you guys want to look at it, it's the one that's like two hours. I don't know his name. Like, I don't, so sorry, man. But, ah, you, you get props from me. You know, you get props from me. You, you're a beast. And if you know, if you ever, if you guys can, like, get him to tear, you know, to teach me a little bit something about Teleglitch, I would highly appreciate it. Because I want to do it myself, too, so. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm such a noob. Um, can't meet. I still got my chocolate, though, so. What is this? Oh, uh, it's a blob. The blob one. I think I read that before. Uh, shotgun. And I think this is the last cache. I believe it is. No, there's one more. One more path. Hopefully it takes me to some goodies. Goodies are always appreciated. Oh, but that's a lot. Yeah, I should have just... No, I, I mean, I did get a lot of stuff. I got a shotgun. I got some nail bombs. RDX 250s. I got two of them. Uh, no, let's keep it. Let's keep it separate. Might come useful later on. Um, if I ever get to it. Okay, there we go. I'm so impatient. That's one of my worst traits. I cannot wait for anything. Like if I'm, I'm waiting for the bus, I'd rather just, you know, rather just. Oh, can't meet. Okay, so I'm guessing it paid off. But um, like if I'm waiting for the bus and like I have to go somewhere, it, I find it like, easier to just walk, <laughs> which is really stupid sometimes. But that's just the way I am. <laughs> Well, you know, because in the Amazonian rainforest where I live, you know, it has its appear. Um, we take buses everywhere and try to escape the horrors of, of boas and tarantulas and... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright, so let's head left. Right. Right. Let's head right, yes. All the way down. And this time, you know what, this time I think I'm going to go back to the... Uh, to the plankton farm because the plankton farm is a lot easier than you know military sector i think i had a rough time in the military sector last time i don't really remember what happened but um yeah let's go right let's go right so let's see guys hopefully you know this this time this is our run um we still have we still haven't used any of the he big healing items we're solid health you know quite a shotgun agl one not, not much different from last run um Hope I can see. I hope next round gives me a different setup from the beginning, though, because I I, I want to be able. I don't think I've seen all of them. I've seen some of them, but the original one, I think it should just start with a gun, which is not that useful, really. But uh, okay, so so now we have all these dudes. Um, there's a lot of them. I don't think I don't think I have enough bullets to deal with all of these guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, that takes out none. <laughs> okay, that takes out one. Um. 
Dodge this guy. Dodge. Okay. Two guys down. One guy down. <laughs> MLG Gaming. What? I, I just gotta stand here and just, uh, just thank uh, everybody for everything you've given me. And, uh, you know, just... Now I get all, all the slave girls because I am the gladiator conqueror of the world. Anyway, of like the space, I guess. Um, empty can, more empty cans. Uh, RDX 250, 250. 9 millimeter clip. Mela mela, mela mela. Oh, um, the six leg battle mutants too. The M1 battle mutant, mutant, mutant <laughs> design was a remarkable economical achievement. They basically only needed plankton, water, and light to grow into fierce war creatures. Even a newborn mutant with the size of a cat had a military value due to its excellent battle protocols. It's pretty interesting. I'm guessing one of those things is called a battle mutant one. I think these guys are battle mutant two and these guys are battle mutant one. In case you guys are interested, you're probably not. I mean, I, I think it's cool. Ow. There you go. Ah, oh man. These guys are super fast. But they, they, they don't they don't stand a chance against my champion. Something I didn't mention about this game, or I think I didn't mention, is the fact that I, I love how like different things can actually like these little pixelated things actually get like they explode into little bits and stuff. I think that's so cool. It's just the fact that there's so much detail in a game that doesn't look like it has much. I just love that. Um yeah, I don't want to do it. Let, let's just get all of them in a bunch. That way I can shoot them all down. Or maybe I can... I mean, I have enough of these things. Okay, let's just use it. Boom. You see? You, see, you saw all those limbs just float out there. You know, that, I think that's so crazy. Okay. Gotta concentrate. Gotta get this guy first. Ow. And what does this give me? Um, teleporter location. Okay. Okay, okay. So I might be considering just heading over there. I don't think I can go anywhere else. Well, maybe I can to like, uh, well, you guys can't really see it where I'm pointing, but <laughs> um, by the humidity chamber complex, we could go by there. I think there's maybe a path there, but uh, yeah, let's just start heading up. I don't think there's much I can do here. Tree, ooh, big guy. Okay, big guy, little guy. Let's just let's try to see how far we can get before the corner us. Um, yeah, man, I'm so fast. <laughs> oh, another big guy. Okay, let's just get everything here. And you guys are just not gonna hurt me at all. You ain't gonna hurt me no mo. You ain't gonna hurt me no mo. Ow, actually, <laughs> never mind. Okay, we're out. We're out of here. It'd be pretty crazy to actually follow you through the setup order. I mean, but I guess it's like hard to program or it's just stupid. I guess stupid design choices. We kind of realistic though. Okay, nine. We got a nine millimeter pistol. Um, we got a yeah. This thing is super accurate most of the time. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to craft, which is really great. Okay, let's make a nail bomb. Nail bomb sick. Uh, let's make an auto pistol. Let's make a plate. RDX five hundred. And yeah, I don't know how to move these things around so I can fix it up a little bit. Hmm. I I I've seen it done before, so I don't really know. Okay, so let's equip the auto pistol because I really enjoy having 105 bullets. But even though, hold on, hold on, I never read this one before. Public message concerning nail gun to personnel of the third sector by productive by productivity monitoring administration protocols number 403. Apparently, somebody has engineered a nail gun that makes a funny sound when it shoots. This curiosity has sparked interest and entertainment seeking from facility. Entertainment seeking from facility scientists of sector 3, 7, and 9, resulting in a sudden drop of productivity. Please stop this experimentation with trivial projects during research work time and reserve such activities for private time. I agree with that. You know what? If you, were, if you come all the way to space, like, if I, if I was a manager in the space station, you know, I'll be, I'll be pretty pissed off. Guys, just hold on. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> nope, you ain't killing me today, bro. <laughs> oh, here they come. Here they come. These guys killed me last time so bad. Okay, nope, gotta, gotta open up space. Oh, there we go, okay. Um, it's a good time to can me. 98, uh, shotgun. There's probably more coming, yeah. That was too little of a... Uh, can't really drag him into the portal. But, 
can sure shoot them. All right, that takes care of that. She's still alive. So are you, homie? But not anymore. Oh god. Up or down? Up or down? I think I'm gonna go up. I think I'm gonna go up. Huh? Can the portal really be here? No, no. Because usually they have this, uh, this like blue thing right before the portal. By the, I, I got excited for a little bit. This is the experimental parts assembly. Huh? I've never been here before. Oh, I think I have. Maybe. Who knows? Um, Panzerfaust. Let's make one of those. Um, power legs, chocolate, mm, just equip, whatever that guy's doing. <laughs> He's gonna get whatever I'm gonna shoot him with. Ooh. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> Those guys are so scary. Ooh, that sounds kind of weird. Sounds very weird. Where's that coming from? Huh. Oh, nope. <laughs> no, man, he popped. <laughs> Oh, um, big guy. Yeah, I heard him. Heard him come. He's gonna get a Panzerfaust to the face, though. If I don't miss. Ooh, I totally missed. Oh, man, what a waste. Okay. Nope, he's gonna get back up. Nope. Nope. I think he's done for good. Yeah, I'm stepping on his body. Uh, this way? Or maybe... Yeah, this could, this could take me to it. Yeah, let's set a portal here. Uh, teleport location, mark them up. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I know where it is. It's pretty cool. Um, but the SU-50, revolver ammo, 9mm clip, a GL-3. Do I want to make one of these? No, I don't have enough bullets for that. Let's not make one of those. Uh, I learned the tough way when I, uh, I combined. I remember what I combined. Uh, I combined, I think, a, a, a GL. I think it was a revolver with the six ammo. I, I did it off camera. So what happens is that like now you shoot six bullets at a time, which sounds great, but just the fact that you don't have more than six bullets. Like if you have like four bullets in the chamber, you can't really shoot them, which kind of sucks. But I guess that's the risk you take for more firepower. So okay, now I'm just gonna explore. We I think right now we're on level two. No, we're on level three. Oh my goodness, actually. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Okay, we actually get made it past level 3 this time. See, guys? See? It was the episode. It is the episode for love. Um, Though, last time I was in level 4. Uh, level 4 tends to be... You, you, you guys know how there's like a bunch of guys with pistols? Well, it tends to be like that, but like on steroids. So, like, I got destroyed like immediately as soon as I got to level 4 last time. So, um, this time, I'm going to make sure to be pumped full of health. I'm going to be equipping my auto pistol probably, and I'm just gonna go and go balls in, you know. I don't really like the expression. I don't even know what I used it. Oh no 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 no! I'm so close. No no no! This is not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. This is definitely not gonna happen. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm so out. I'm so out. I'm not gonna die to these guys now. Not now. Not now. Not now. <laughs> no, no. Do you see? This is why exploring is a stupid idea. All right, we're just gonna go. <laughs> we're just gonna go. <laughs> oh, power legs! How I love you! <laughs> oh my god! I almost got destroyed. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh huh. Hold on. Let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> Even the dead can go crazy, especially the dead. But sometimes also mutants, robots, and individual AI protocols. So this was a place where we put all of them. The scientists working here called themselves Necro Shrinks. I visited this place only once, on my first day in Medusa 1C. They were giving me the facility tour and I happened to arrive to this madhouse of the dead on, the very, on a very bad time. They had a bunch of crazy zombies who just wouldn't stop crying. They obeyed all the orders, behaved otherwise perfectly, but would occasionally cry. Such workers would, ob would obviously be a problem, so I arrived at the day when they decided to shut these poor fellows down and give them a total reset. They went one by one into the reset chair and were turned off like switches, while all the rest were watching and crying. It's a sight hard to forget. On the funny side, there were lazy zombies. Anyway, <laughs> what? <laughs> I decided to avoid this sector for the rest of my career, often that first day. After that first day, my bad. It seems avoidance is not an option this time. I hope my visit to Medusa, the, to the madhouse, will be a swift and clean. I don't think it will, be, it will because, you know, I, the madhouse is pretty crazy. So, 
I noticed that in the past two videos I have completely ignored the screen, which I really shouldn't because it's actually a pretty cool thing to do. Okay, so accuracy 48.2. So yeah, my, I, you guys saw how I missed that rocket. It was like stupid in ways I cannot even describe. Secrets found zero, items combined five. Okay, I do that a lot. And I kill zombies. Okay, so the green things are zombies. A mu big mutant, one, and three guards. I don't know what a guard is. Oh, it's it's the guys with the guns. Okay, yeah, okay. So let's go on. We made it, guys. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I'm gonna die so badly. <laughs> okay, um, let's see the chocolate. Yeah. Oh, thought that could, like, get me above 100. Never, never mind. Uh, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's try not to die. RDX and G bullets, my 25. What is it? What is this thing? It looks like a phone, maybe? Panel? I am there. Yep. See? Nope. 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 <laughs> You're not getting me, bro. It's the guy. He's done. He's done. He's done. Nope. He's not done. Nope. Dodge. I think he's done now. He should be done. Yeah. Okay, so, the like, I had a really bad experience last time I was here because as soon as I was just, like, scurrying around and doing stuff, I got, like, uh, attacked by, like, 50 of those guard dudes along with, like, a guy with a Gatling gun, which I think I hear... Yep, here they come. Oh, he has a shotgun. Nope. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man, oh, man, this guy's gonna kill me. Man, I guess I'm about to kill me. Oh, oh, they have they have different guns. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. And here comes one of the fat guys. Ooh, I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Nope. Blow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Okay, I have two pistols, so those things have still have bullets in them. And I also have my shotgun, so I should I should be fine if I just don't run into rooms like that. Um. Yeah, now that I know what to expect, you know, it's it's a lot easier to foresee it coming. But ah, oh, there's still normal zombies. Oh, man, I have 49 health. I gotta I really gotta heal. I, I can't die to this guy, it's not after all I've been through. I can't, I can't. There we go. Okay. Uh make it. Make it immediately. Immediately shotgun. I'm scary guys, I, I really am. Uh now I'm gonna go with pistol. I'm gonna go through this pistol and go to the other one. Um, like, uh, what was that movie called where the guy had like a bunch of pistols? It's probably the Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm not sure. He had like a bunch of pi pistols in his breast and he just like shot one and he's like, I'm gonna take the other one out. And then he shoots because like, it was like old school pistols so they only have like one bullet. So, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, fat guy. Perfect time for. No, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here. Ooh. You're gonna get it this time. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. No. no. <laughs> yeah, I figured that would happen. Um, well, you know what, guys? At least I made it to level four, you know? Um, pretty exciting. Well, thank you guys for watching again. And, you know, if, if you can get that guy to come and give me some tips, that would be a great idea because um, that man, the man of Gorg, I think that's his name, Wach, that man is intense. Uh, but... Thank you guys for watching. Maybe next time we'll make it to level 5. You know, at least now we pass level 3. Hopefully we don't get stuck in there because it's actually a pretty tough level. So, once again, my name's Rocket Tapir. And, you know, just leave, leave a like or a comment. Just talk to me because I'm lonely. <laughs> um, or subscribe if you, if you guys know you want to see more of me. I'll be here. I'll try to do this every day. So, you know, you know, you can say hi or you can just, like, not say anything. But it's all love. So, goodbye, guys. See you tomorrow.